Hi guys, this is Fernando doing another video for the Mars Survivalist. In this case, showing you guys the Berkey Sport water bottle. This is uh, made by the same guys that make the Berkey filter, the well recognized Berkey filter. It's a water bottle that includes such filter on the inside. Okay, let's change modes here for a second. Water bottle, filter, straw. <laughs> okay, the straw goes through the cap. We have an O-ring there. As we close it, you pull back and the straw pops up for you to drink. Extremely simple, I like that. It's a straightforward design, which is great. Uh, the more simple it is, the more reliable it is in my, in my experience. And you know, water. So important ha to have um, a safe uh, source of water, which is uh, so often taken for granted. We are so used to having our tap water, just turning the faucet and have uh, water for drinking. It's not always the case, and it's one of the basic things that you should cover in your survival and preparedness plans. You know the the laws of three that I always make reference to. Once it say that you cannot go without uh, three minutes without air three hours without a uh, proper shelter in extreme conditions, three days without uh, water, and three weeks without food. Water, therefore, is is part of those uh, laws of threes. So it, it is very important. And it, it's not just about uh, camping, going, going on the outdoors, which, you know, so often mentioned as part of survival and preparedness, but honestly, it's the type of thing that we do when, when having fun, when relaxing, going, going for a hike or camping. Now, if we think of it uh, from the, the more realistic pre uh, preparedness uh, point of view, that would be the case where the, the, the source of, of, of water has been compromised to some degree for some reason because there's no tap water and you have to get... get um, you have to get by with unreliable sources of water, streams, ponds, anything that you have nearby. In that case, this becomes invaluable. This is the kind of thing that keeps you from, from getting diseases. When there's natural disasters such as the ones that, uh, you know, the tsunamis or earthquakes and, and people start, um, uh, you know, hygiene gets compromised seriously. One of the things that kills the most people rather than disaster itself is the diseases that start spreading. And one of the reasons why it starts spreading so much is because of unreliable, unsafe sources of water. I think it was in Haiti that uh, Jeff, the guy, Jeff is the Berkey guy, Jeff Gleason is the Berkey guy, the guy that uh, <laughs> which is probably the, the, the best uh, seller of, of Berkey products in his website, it's Directive21. He's an advertiser, let me change most there for a second, he's the advertiser in, in, my, in my blog as well. Jeff, it's a great guy. I, <laughs> I like Jeff a lot. He, he's t terrific. And uh, well, he was telling me that it had been used in, in IT during during the disaster over there. So very important. It's not just part of of your camping uh, and hiking stuff and gear. It's part of your essential, basic uh, core survival gear. You know, having ways of making water drinkable and safe. You can use bleach and such. I've used it when when I went camping in, in Argentina and such, in, in some of my trips. But uh, you know, first of all, it tastes awful. <laughs> Throwing a few drops of bleach does make it uh, safe to some degree, but it, it tastes very bad. And you're basically adding more more stuff to it instead of you know of removing it. So the, these filters are are pretty great in that regard. And it, water does taste very good be, after being filtered one of the the most efficient filter out there in the market so folks just showing it to you guys remember jeff the berkey guy from directed 21 great guy to deal with very fun guy to talk with and <laughs> go have <laughs> lunch with so keep that in mind folks this is going to be part of of my of my go gear as of right now i'm adding it and consider doing that yourself as well take care folks see you on our next video have a good day